doctrines of the devil. Look at the next thing they're going to do. They're going to touch on marriage. So if you see it now, you know that these are prophecies that are written concerning what is happening. So you can say, oh, this is written. I must not get involved with this one. Amen. Second Timothy 4, uh, 1 Timothy 4. Now look at Speaking lies in hypocrisy. There's no day like now that people joke with lies. People speak and don't mean it. The conscience of people have been seared. Look at what it says. Say, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You know, conscience is something peculiar that you must understand. Your conscience. God put it there as the voice of the Holy Spirit inside. Yesterday, or was last on Sunday, I explained that God's truth or God's laws. Yesterday, I was speaking at the online. God's laws are written in the Bible and written in the conscience of people. All right? So now you can have some, you, if you don't know the Bible about something, your conscience is aware of what is right and wrong. So it can guide you, but when you are not born again, your conscience is not a safe guide. But in every human being, that conscience is still there. Even among little children, I say, I'm a Even among criminals, I think people are called Conscience is still alive in them. But when your conscience gives you a standard for behavior, it's like an alarm. Or a dog that is at the gate. When an intruder is coming, it begins to bark. Woo, 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 woo. So you pull back. Every time you want to cross something that is wrong, your conscience is activated. So you find most people don't break their conscience. They adjust it. And how do they adjust it? They give their conscience another standard of truth. Look at how the world has come to a place now that the civilized world, everybody's thinking that there's something sane about homosexuality. It didn't start one day. Gradually, gradually, people began to give another standard of truth. Over here is still something that is horrific. So for somebody to come up and say, Daddy, I'm homo. What? That man is going to grab the neck and call the man. She must suffer. Pit this boy. I suspected he doesn't look like me. <laughs> but you know the, the devil is already coming to Africa too, and you are seeing suggestions in newspaper. Very soon you will see newspaper articles coming up. Are you following? I'm saying, and the way it starts is this: intellectuals that are agents of these demons will come up and say, it's not your business what two adults do behind closed bars, closed doors. That is, that doctrine of the devil, it is not anybody's business what two adults do. And by the way, Nigerian Christians are hypocrites. What you should go after are these politicians that have stolen Nigeria by so he steers up your passion against politicians while he has slotted in a dangerous anti-God doctrine into your consciousness. Are you following what I'm saying? It's not illiterates that perpetuate the doctrines of the devils. When the devil wants to bring doctrines of devils into society, he looks at the most brilliant minds that rebel against God and say, I borrowed that mind. You're a good tool. The most brilliant of the disciples was Judas. He was the most educated, the accountant amongst them. I hear what I'm saying. Was one I got after to betray Jesus. Did you get what I'm saying? So, watch it. When you begin to get assault of the devil, you know, when people first of all see something that is wrong, you are horrified. But if you keep on seeing it, you move from being horrified to enduring it 
and you move from enduring it to tolerating it. You move from tolerating it to enjoying it. And you move from enjoying it to participating in it. Are you following what I'm saying? Because when I look at world leaders that say, well, homosexuals are wrong, I'm, I mean, they're okay, what? And they, they say, I'm, I'm going to stop the... I said, did your wife ask you a question when you got back home? Did your wife ask you, my dear, why you defend homosexuals? Are you one? Homosexuality is a direct assault against the commandment of God. Be fruitful and replenish the earth. Homosexuals don't recreate, they recruit. Did you get what I'm saying? And they tell you it's a state of birth. It's not a state of birth. It's a state of the mind. You made that choice and you can change it. And if you don't change it, that choice has consequences. Nobody was born homo. Did you get what I'm saying? So those are doctrines of the devil. Are you following what I'm saying? But the church was sleeping when the devil was walking. And it, cut, it cuts across different areas. I hope I'm communicating with you. And the devil is coming after the church. So as to everything that God says, don't violate. We will violate it. And every violation of God's restriction opens a gate to the devil. Write it and don't forget that. Nobody breaks laws and gets away with it. Did you hear what I'm saying? Nobody breaks laws and gets away with it. Just as facts are sacred, you can have your opinion, you can have your facts. The same way you can choose the game you want to play in life, you can choose the rules. Once you choose the game, you inherit the rules. Once you are sent to this earth, God is the one that set the rules. Once you come here and you choose another set of rules, you will answer back to you. You start answering here. Amen? So these are signs of last days when you see men changing the laws and changing the rules. So it says, speaking lies, having their conscience here with the other, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Amen? So you see, these are last days that men are going to be dabbling in these things. Praise God. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. That should give you a clue how to deal with your food. Sanctify with the word of God and with what? Prayer. Praise God. If you put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine. Whereunto thou art also attained. I'm going to stop here today. I'm not finished, but I'm going to stop here. Praise God. But I'll close with the two points that Paul mentioned. They are nourished up in the words of faith and good doctrine. Those are the things that feed your spirit. Amen. Feed up on the word of faith. Feed up on sound doctrine. Always feed along those two lines. Amen. Those of you that are preaching and teaching, teach along those two lines. Faith, build up the faith of people. Faith for divine involvement in their lives. Doctrine for sound standing in this godless world. I hope you're following what I'm saying. Praise God. So when the devil comes, your doctrine is sound and you are not moved. When your doctrine is sound, even if you have a revelation yourself, you can judge it yourself. I hope you're following what I'm saying. People say, well, I had the revelation that somebody... You know, mommy went to the market one day and came back to meet me. She met a professional prophet in the market some years ago. Giving prophets to this market woman. And the, and the man said, come, Arabini. <laughs> now you know there's going to be a, there's going to be a conflict. <laughs> Praise God. So you can meet such people like that. Okay? But your doctrine must be sound so as to be able to stand all kind of things to fly. Amen. So I want you to rise to your feet today. Did you get anything? Huh? You know, one of, one, the, 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 the confidence that prophecy will give you, nothing, alcohol will not give you. Because you know that God has spoken of these days before you got there. And he has marked out a program for you. He has marked out a road for you. 
there are some manifestations that are reserved for you as a believer, that are reserved for the church. So we expect them. Did you get what I'm saying? If I do my part, God will do his part. Just like this you is missing here, if you add the you there, you get success. Are you following what I'm saying? Most times it is you that is missing. But you will not be missing anymore. Did you get something? So lift your hands to the Lord and let's talk to him. Father, connect me to my prophecies. The prophetic act that is consistent with the days I'm living in. Connect me to them. Lift your hands and pray like that. There are prophetic acts. There are prophetic behaviors. There are prophetic decisions that will connect you to the plan of glory that God has for you for these last days. You will not take carnal decisions in the place that a prophetic decision is waiting for you. It will be said of you that you did this that it might be fulfilled what was written in your prophecy. Your actions will be manifestations of your prophecy. Lift your voice and lift your hands and pray. Just pray in the spirit. Every spirit of error, knock it off your life. Knock it off your mind. And connect yourself to the spirit of your prophecy. The spirit of your own prophecy. Let it rest upon you. Let it govern your behavior. The Bible says, only men of God spake as they were moved by the Spirit of God. They acted in line with prophecy. You will act in line with prophecy. As Peter said, this is that. You will be able to know your own that in prophecy. This offer is my that in prophecy. Just as I said, the God said to me, not if for your son. You will know where your son must not go to school. You will know where you must not look for work. Because it is against your prophecy. Everything in your life will align with your prophecy. In these last days, you will not cross paths with false prophets. Open your mouth and pray. Rabalama Dezeye. Rebalima Dazaya. Ramade. Mazeze Libra Masondaye. Erema Ondezile Brahma Sandaye. Male Zayedaba. Jembra Bama Deseye. Eremo Listo Badasaya. Rababa Malama Sandaya. Those of you that you are looking to marry, you will marry the person of your prophecy. You will marry the, the wife, the spouse of your divine prophecy. Your job will be in alignment with divine prophecy. Your movement will be in alignment with divine prophecies. Your decisions will be in alignment with divine prophecies. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I connect my life to the anointings of my divine prophecy. To the decisions of my prophecies. To the directions of my divine prophecies. For these last days. When the Bible said the wealth of the sinners shall come to the righteous. There are some actions you must take. That will cause the wealth of the sinner to come to you. Not playing coupon. Lord show me the steps to take. In alignment with divine prophecies. Not against divine prophecy. While some are departing from the faith. Some are taking up the faith like never before. You will be among those that are rising to rise in these last days. So open your mouth and pray, beloved. 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 Pray, 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 pray. Part of the prophecy of the last days is that you will be in health. You will not be weak, you will not be sickly. You will trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the works of the devil. There are diseases that the Bible has said we come to visit this earth in these last days. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba mazale de bromo sedaya. Rabba ba mara sedile ba. Jembra masto. Ezeze lima dezeyede. Jebra masanda. In Jesus' name we pray. You see, when there is problem in the world, it is the opportunity of the church. Did you hear what I'm saying? You see, I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations will come. In the midst of the shaking, the answer of God will show for you. I want you to pray. Every problem that causes people to miss God, you will use it to rise into your next level. 
Number two, you are going to come against spirits of sexual perversion. As far as you are concerned, as far as your children are concerned, there will not be any pollution sexually. And then number three, you pray for a spirit of accuracy. There is prophetic breakthrough, not seductive breakthrough. You will be connected to prophetic breakthroughs. Open your mouth and pray. Those three prayer points. Don't mumble your prayer. The problem that caused people to go away from God is going to cause you to rise. There was famine in Egypt. It was in the famine that Joseph rose to be prime minister. It, Goliath showed up. Goliath stopped some people. It caused just David to rise to the throne. The problem that is shaking people is your own opportunity. So ask God for the anointing to rise through the problem that is facing the world. Come against every spirit of sexual perversion and seduction. And pray for prophetic breakthroughs. Prophetic breakthroughs. Prophetic breakthroughs. Prophetic breakthroughs. Prophetic breakthroughs. Pray for it. These are days of great breakthroughs for God's people. Great advancement. These are days of great breakthroughs, but prophetic ones. So pray, Lord, show me the steps. The steps to my prophetic breakthrough, the step to my wealthy place in God. Holy Spirit, show me. I receive a touch. Do you believe there's an anointing for you tonight? Do you believe there's an anointing coming on you tonight? Lift your two hands and pray in the Spirit. Because this is a word that God is sending fresh from heaven. Living victoriously in these last days. You will carry a spirit of victory. You will carry a spirit of power. You carry a spirit of glory. You carry a spirit of glory. You carry a spirit of glory. You will carry a spirit of glory. You carry a spirit of glory. You will carry a spirit of glory. I speak over you now in the name of Jesus. That you will be connected to your prophetic breakthroughs. You'll be connected to your prophetic breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. The personnels of your prophecy. The provisions of your prophecy. The path of your prophecy. I release upon you in the name of Jesus. You are connected to it. In the name of Jesus. The people of your prophecy. Let them begin to rise up. Let them begin to rise up. Let them begin to rise up for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your two hands on your head and pray in the spirit. The decisions of your prophecy. Let them begin to break forth in your spirit. The decisions of your prophecy. Let them begin to break forth in your spirit. Let them begin to break forth in your spirit. The decisions of your prophecy. Let them begin to break forth in your spirit. The decisions of your prophecy. Let them begin to break forth in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Oh, as Jesus moved from one place to another and did one thing or the other, that this might be fulfilled, what was written in his prophecy. May you be connected to the decisions of your prophecy. In the name of Jesus. May you be connected to the decisions of your prophecy. The steps of your prophecy. Let them begin to break forth for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The locations of your prophecy. Let them begin to be attractive to you. You will not be attracted to a place of danger and destruction. You will be attracted to the issues of your prophecy. You'll be attracted to the mandate of your divine prophecy. You'll be attracted and connected to the plans of your prophecy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Do you receive it tonight? Do you receive it tonight? It is yours in Jesus' name. I want to pray for some of you here tonight that you are not just a recipient of prophecy and some of you may be online you are going to carry a mantle of the prophetic 
you carry anointing, you carry calling. Listen to me, you will not go into error. There are seducing spirits in the realm of the spirit. A friend of mine was preaching on an altar in a particular church and the woman that was interpreting for him on the altar, she's preaching and preaching. He said, I heard a voice that said, grab her. I said, no, in Jesus' name. And when he came, he said, there is a grabbing spirit on that altar. A spirit of fornication and adultery. Are you listening to what I'm saying? There are ministers today that have gone into error. They started genuinely. And I'm praying for those of you that you carry ministry calling. God will preserve you from error. They started genuinely, but the devil in their moment of carelessness, in their moment of busyness, they didn't spend enough time with the word of God. They didn't spend enough time in prayer. The devil began to give them instructions that are crazy. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Years ago, listen to me. A man of God in this country, very highly anointed. Oh, you talk of Benny Hinn kind of anointing. Blowing the microphone and people fall under power. And all that great man of God. And today, still alive, nobody talks about him again. Are you following me? I met a pastor's wife that told me what transpired between him and that man. She's looking for the fruit of the womb. And that man told her, lie down. What Elijah did for that little boy, said Lord told him to do it. Laid on top of a full-bodied woman. Now, the, I said the Bible is your standard. Elijah, Elijah laid on a seven-year-old boy. Not a woman. Not even a girl. This is a married woman. What will a man of God be lying on top of a woman to do? Are you hearing what I'm saying? And such thoughts, such instruction, and such testimonies began to follow that man until his ministry became a shipwreck. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay? Some of you carry great destinies, great callings. Be greatly educated in the soundness of doctrine of the Bible. Keep in your relationship men that are sound in the things of God. Are you listening to what I'm saying? When in a meeting, there's a man, this is a prophet, and you see great revelations in his life. But he says, Ah, excuse me, sir. Kinto, before I open the Bible, I just begin to see. I said, Bro, open the Bible. People will be inviting you to come for special meetings special, until they lick you and suck you and then throw you away. You will not be like that. Yeah. Your voice will not hear the voice of a stranger. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right? As a child of God and a born-again man, there is a calling of God on your life. However, fulfilling your calling on earth is dependent on not just knowing you have a call, but also getting the details, timing, nature, and instrument of the calling right. It is possible to carry a call and fail to fulfill it correctly, and God does not want this to be your experience. And it is for this reason that God has sent this book your way. Getting your calling right through his servant, Reverend Olushala Ayodele Areogun, as you read this book, you will be baptized with the grace to see through the errors that derail men from their callings and the wisdom to correctly fulfill your own. May the world and the generations to come be blessed as a result of your obedience in Jesus' name. Get your copies today at www.abundantlifehouse.org or call plus 234-909-001-3229 or plus 234-803-725-2124. You can also visit the Abundant Life House at the Dream Center of the Life Forces International Church, Dream Center Bus Stop, Kilometer 4, Bongo Oshobo Expressway, Oshobo, Ocean State, Nigeria. Jesus is Lord. Got an answer. Answer, answer, answer from heaven. My answer, my answer from heaven. I've got an answer. Answer, answer, answer from heaven. My answer, my answer from heaven. No more toil, no more toil. No more struggles.
พัฒนา